Boom! Day four of our honeymoon. And I just found out something really fascinating about my wife. Oh? Yeah. Uh, we, we left and she was convinced that she had forgotten something. Mm -hmm. And it was because I was carrying the book bag. Yeah, I didn't have the backpack, so I clearly wasn't ready to go. I hadn't engaged tourist mode yet. Yeah, so apparently she likes to have the uh, book bag on when we walk out the door. That's yeah. fascinating. I'll give it to you later because yeah, I don't want to actually back. carry it, but I definitely needed it when we left. So we have a three-part plan today. Okay. First, we're going to go to Animal Kingdom. Yes. Second, around seven-ish, we're going to head towards Epcot to eat Japanese. Mm -hmm. Third, we're going to get... Thanks, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Uh, and third, we're going to get caught in Hurricane who? Matthew? We're going to get caught in Hurricane Matthew. It's supposedly it's going to hit sometime after like eight or nine tonight, all night, tomorrow morning. Not entirely sure on the timeline, but it's supposed to get pretty bad. But if we play our cards right, we'll get stuck in a horrible, horrible rainstorm mm -hmm. and then get here before the actual hurricane before hits. Or any of the like really strong winds. Yeah, I mean, so. we're going to get caught in a nasty storm. But. We're prepared though. Now we have our flip flops. Flip -de -flop flip -de floops. Flip -de floops. Flip -de flop floops. Here we are at the Animal Kingdom where we can see lions and elephants and dragons and triceratops. Cool. What's up guys? All right, so we are in the Animal Kingdom at Tiffin's, which is, uh, sorry for flipping you off there, <laughs> which is a really nice restaurant. Um, and what you just looked at were totem poles that they're very proud to tell us are 20 years old. <gasps> it's exciting. Um, unfortunately, we've run into kind of a string of bad luck. So we got this hurricane coming and this park is gonna close at five. And there all won't be parks any, are closing at five. All parks close at five, and there won't be any parks open tomorrow. Uh, and we're kind of just hedging our bets for the day after. So, uh, not a big deal, because we're going to stay in, watch some spooky movies, and uh, probably eat some junk food. And I think we'll have a lot of fun tomorrow regardless, but it's just kind of a bummer. That's all. But we're enjoying what we got going on right now. This is a nice restaurant. Super duper nice. What do you got here? So I have St. George's Amber Lager from Ethiopia. I thought I'd be adventurous today and uh, order foreign beers. Um, it tastes exactly like liquid bread. <laughs> it's uh, not very hoppy, so it's got like a really rich yeasty maltiness since it's an amber. Uh, and yeah, it just tastes like drinking a loaf of bread. That's so weird. Explain to me this thing that you're holding in your hand. This, this is just the dessert menu at Tiffin's. It's um, all leather bound. We're bragging about how awesome you guys are. So cool. <laughs> incredible. It's absolutely incredible. It smells so good. It smells good? Yeah, because it's real leather. Mm. All of the menus were leather bound. That's it's crazy. Is that a fancy clasp? It's stitching. That's incredible. My delicious coffee. It's time. It's time. Coming back for a new 
poncho plan. Activity poncho plan number seven. Oh, you guys are like. So tall. Amanda, nice, nice poncho. Where are we going? What are we doing? We're trying to get on Expedition Everest. It's a pretty cool line that we're just walking through. Apparently, nobody wants to ride in the rain. It's it's pretty incredible. Pretty yeah, incredible. it's gorgeous. To oh my God! Keep you entertained for hours. It's beautiful. That's why I take the video so I can go back. I'll just put it in slow motion. And then, I, then I can pretend that I'm waiting in the line for hours and hours and hours. Get the real experience. Cars? What, what about the cars? See this, this car coming towards us? Oh no. It came back empty. It came back empty? <laughs> it left with people and it came back empty. So what did we just do? We did Expedition Everest. That's right. That's yeah. crazy. Is that we your first a, time? We got attacked by a Yeti. It wasn't, but it's been so long that I basically forgot everything about the ride. It's pretty cool. The ride like goes forward and then goes back down you're a different a, path and like, forward down a different path. You're on a runaway train, so there's like tracks that are broken, you change paths up. Right. And at the very end, you get attacked by a massive Yeti, and I swear, I looked right at his eyes. I swear he was like so close. He almost got me. I had to like drop my hand because I was afraid he had to see yeah. I think he had a bit of saliva hit me. Either that or it was, or it was rain. Might have been raining. I think it was he was drooling on me. It was me. definitely Yeti. <laughs> Of this head and Mickey, see, not all of them are freaking Mickey Mouse. He's basically all day right here. I was taking ponchos on and off. Hey, got my muscles back. <laughs> that works. All right, it's still recording, but you can take pictures too. Instead of taking a picture, because I'm the worst. There you go. Is that? I got it. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, you do whatever. I just didn't have the whole dinosaur in it.
He'll eat you. One bite. Well, you know what? He seems like there's some delicious food right there. And he does not seem to care. This is the Olden Gate Bridge. This fossil gateway is composed of the giant bones of a brachiosaurus, one of the largest creatures that ever walked the earth. It stands 52 feet tall and more than 80 feet long. A peaceful plant eater, the brachiosaurus's enormous neck allowed it to browse amid the upper branches of prehistoric forests. <laughs> ridiculous hat. I like it. I don't. It looks silly. But it's even funnier because when it's on Amanda. <laughs> Nothing fits. Your head's so tiny. No, it's just my my bun. It's all my hats from sitting it's right. It's so small. <laughs> well, these are the first few clouds coming in for what is promising to be one of the biggest storms we've ever seen. Eh, not worried. So, we're going to head back to our hotel, talk to the people at the hotel room about uh, what's the precautions and stuff we need to do, yep. and then we're gonna hunker down and enjoy the night. Yeah. Yep. It's just too cute. She's taking a bath. Duck bath. Duck bath. Oh, he's taking a bath too. Or they're, or they're trying to eat something. I'm pretty sure they're taking a bath though. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, what are you about to do? What are you about to do? What are you about to do? What? The bravest duck in the world. I don't even know what, what they're doing. Oh, is it drinking water? Mm, delicious. No, 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 no. I wouldn't drink that. That water's foul. <laughs> so, so we just we just realized something dark, but is awesome. So, uh, where are we staying? We're staying at Port Orleans Riverside, one of the two New Orleans resorts. Absolutely, and. I was just looking around and none of the women are wearing any clothes. And there's a giant hurricane coming. It's, it's just so like New Orleans. It's so authentic. Okay, here's what just happened. I'm back at the hotel room without Michael. Get ready for Dizzy Cam. I'm not quite the same cinematographer Michael is, so you're just going to have to deal with me for a couple, couple minutes. Um, what happened was we were a little bit wrong about our plan this morning and how we thought it would all lay out, which is okay because Disney has it all under control. Um, what ended up happening was all of the parks closed at 5 p.m., for preparation for the hurricane, basically. They needed to, you know, batten down the hatches, get everybody out, everybody to a safe place before the wind started. Uh, so they sent us back to our hotel. And um, when we got here, we got into the room, dropped off our stuff, took off our ponchos, because it wasn't raining anymore, and ran up to the front desk to ask some questions about, like, what we were going to do for food tomorrow, what kind of the procedures were, if we would get, you know, warnings or notifications or whatever it is they were going to do, just, you know, general questions. Uh, and we got there, and there was a line for the food court that went from the food court, through the hotel lobby, and out the front door. And everybody looked very upset, like this line wasn't anything new and they've been standing there for a while. So as it turns out, Disney's plan was they had cold box lunches for us for the uh, remainder of tonight and tomorrow while the parks are closed. Uh, and it was just a sandwich and chips and a drink. And I think a bag of fruit, like grapes or apples or something. 
and uh, everybody was waiting to get absolutely as many of those as they could fit into several bags on their person and just loading that up uh, and it was complete chaos so instead of coming back to our hotel and getting our ponchos we just like oh yeah we'll just go wait at the food court and uh, get our food but turns out the line for the boxed lunches that just include a sandwich and chips is just as long as the line for like pizza and um, pasta so instead of course, my family isn't surprised by this at all. I got some delicious uh, made-to-order pasta for dinner tonight. Uh, it's still hot, and I'm very happy uh, to carry it through the rain. I, I, I grabbed an extra tray and covered it up. I think I'm a genius, and also, uh, they probably didn't want me to take that from the dining hall, so shush. That's okay. Uh, so we're going to have delicious pasta tonight, and then Michael and I split up. He went to the pizza line, and we're going to have pizza and just put it in the fridge until tomorrow and have cold pizza for lunch instead of cold sandwiches, because cold pizza is always delicious. Uh, and that's basically the plan. Uh, there were a lot of people in the dining hall, and all of them were unnecessarily panicked about a shortage of food that didn't exist, like, probably thousands of tons of food were in that dining hall waiting for people and everyone was freaking out. Anyway, so somebody pushed me and I spilled Alfredo sauce all over my shirt, but the rain washed most of it away, so it's all right now. Uh, and the, yeah, I'll let, I'll let Michael catch you up on his adventures when he gets back. I'm sure it was interesting for him too. Oh, is it back on? Yeah. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> I just got back from the food court at the Riverside New Orleans resort. Um, because we have a giant hurricane coming, we're going to be stuck in this little room. Give me a little camera. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be uh we're gonna be stuck here for about twenty four hours. So probably more. Yeah. So Amanda went and got us some warm food, which we're gonna chow down on here in a second. And then I stood in a two hour long line to get pizza. So that we'll be able to, or is it more than two hours? No. Two hours? About two hours. Okay. Uh, two hour long line to get pizza so that I could, uh, so we could have something to eat tomorrow. Because we figure pizza will be good cold. But I'll be real. It actually ended up being a really cool experience. So I'm going to tell you about it. Um, the line obviously there was a pain. And uh, I didn't really bond with anybody on the way there. But then afterwards you got thrown into just a big giant space of people and I first when I walked in they were just like welcome to this club oh my god it's so great to see you here <laughs> and so you quickly realize that the way things work is that first your name got put on a plate and then your name got put on a pizza box and then your pizza was put in your box and your pizza was given to you and I just sat there waiting with my name on a plate. And at the time, I got to meet some great people. I met a French lady who had pearls on around her neck that big all the way around. They were the biggest pearls, like as big as my pinky. They were huge. Um, and I got to meet a bunch of people. But what was really interesting was that whenever someone got their pizza, and after about maybe 15, 20 minutes of waiting, cheers started happening. Somebody would call Eddie, and Eddie would go, I'm Eddie, and then everybody would go, yay, and everything went crazy, and he got his pizza, and he was, you did it, <laughs> you did it, as he went away all happy, and so, so uh, that, was, that was pretty exciting, and um, I remember the moment, the glorious moment, in which I saw that I, I had a box, and I said it out loud, and it felt so good. I said, oh. I have a box! And then suddenly I heard everyone around me go, oh, You have a box? You have a box! And then I'm like, Yeah, that's me! That's me up there! That's me! That's my box! See? I have a box. Oh! Bam! Uh, and then they called me. And everyone cheered. And then I braved the storm to deliver to my wife pizza. Mmm! My hero! My hero! Now, we aren't eating pizza tonight. But I'm gonna have a piece of pizza because I just didn't line for a report. So. Celebratory pizza. Oh my god, it's so hot! Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I'm gonna bite into it anyways. Mmm, it's mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> I have to 
take a look at this beautiful romantic dining situation that my wife set up for me. We've been filming all of our most lovely uh, dining experiences all week. So. And I love the fact I came home and she had it set up like this. This is home now. <laughs> by the way, apparently. I live here. We live here now. I came home and look at this. Look at this amazing looking fettuccine Alfredo. Marty. Beautiful meal. Beautiful woman. Beautiful room. Beautiful glass. Okay. So it's 1.45 in the morning. And everything seems pretty peaceful outside. So we'll see if that big storm's actually all it was cracked up to be tomorrow, I guess. Well, the good news is, I don't know if you can see this. You can't see this. But I have all the pizza any man could want. And some honest tea. Good night, everybody.